exclusive. So sitting here with Seton Smith uh, in town uh, in Chicago today yes, sir. and uh, leaving very soon, but we get to check out some of your stuff. Uh, Mulaney mm -hmm. uh, debuting this upcoming Sunday. Seton Smith, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. And also, I don't love you. <laughs> like, what is the excitement level for you with this show coming out? It's been about a year and a half making. It's, uh, it's going to be surreal. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to DVR it, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah, have to. <laughs> I'm going to watch it live. I'll be no, too panicky, no. so I'm going to just Who circle the room. Who does that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll DVR it just to help our rating system. Yeah. And, uh, and um, I don't know. I'm going to get off Facebook, though, because I'm yeah. a, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of way too many comments yeah. and There's stuff. There's going to be a lot of love, but there's going to be some other people, too. I don't yeah. want any of that. I want to just I wanna just enjoy this for it is. I'm, ha I'm really proud of what we did. That's it's cool. great. That's awesome. And so, like you said, you're only in Chicago for kind of the day, doing a little bit of the press stuff. But uh, have you done sets in Chicago? Do you like doing comedy here? Talk a little bit about that. I've done Laugh Factory here before. Yeah. That place is a gym. Yeah. Um, I see a comedy spot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've also done some bars. I got some friends who live around here. For and sure. I've done colleges around here. No, mm -hmm. this is, I love the state. And I love Chicago people, y'all are. Yeah. Y'all are a good mix of them. Yeah, it's an interesting group. Right? <laughs> In a good way. You can be liberal, you can be ignorant. It's, you're great. <laughs> I mean, who else one of us that can do that? I don't know. I think <laughs> Illinois owns that pretty well. Oh, it's awesome, man. But, yeah. Um, so, like you said, you know, Mulaney, the, you know, the show was, um, you know, originally kind of a pilot for NBC. Now it's over at Fox and Fox ordering up 10 episodes of it after that. Talk a little bit about, you know, that process of, you know, coming on to do the show and then kind of the, the roller coaster of everything and kind of where you are now. With oh, it. man. Uh, when there was the NBC uh, incarnation, it like, I remember I saw the project at the beginning and I saw it change to something else. Yeah. And then it just didn't work. And then all of a sudden with Fox, they came in and just kind of straightened it to something that was very clear and fun and right. really direct. Like, there's no playing around. It's like, you know, joke, 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 joke. And it's just like, this is a roller coaster. And it's been awesome to have start off as strangers and then become really close to the point where we kind of... We understand each other's body language. We yeah. understand each other's anxiety. You, you and the cast. We in the cast. Yeah, yeah I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so us in the cast. We started off as strangers, and all of a sudden we became these people that, like, yeah. I recognize when this scene is about to do something funny, and then John does too, and then we just know when to support now, and it's yeah, it's really uh, yeah. I've never gelled before with people before, and this is it's a cool experience. Man. That's great. It feels um, like family so quickly. It's crazy. That's good. I mean, I think it's going to bode well, you know, for the rest of the season and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, you know, being able to see a couple of the shows personally before it's come out, it's, it's nice to see, you know, this, this cool vibe of, you know, comedians living with comedians. And so how kind of true to, you know, you've you know, been a comedian for a while now, but was it easy for you to kind of adapt that role right away? You've done so much on stage stuff and now getting involved in acting and being a part of a sitcom. What was that like for you? All right, well, talking the big scheme of things, yeah. live sitcoms are built for stand-up comedians while the single cam on the street stuff is built for... An actor, I mean, yeah, actor, yeah, yeah, an actor, actor, because yeah. you get quiet in those moments. But when you get on the big grades like that, yeah. and it's just 200 people, you go for the joke and you get big, which is a... Co yeah. Comedian thing. That's why Jackie Gleason did uh, Honeymooners because he was just comedian. And he yeah. was just like, I'll just do a comedy show in front of cameras. Yeah, it was. It's it's been. It felt right when I first yeah. the first take when the very first scene. I was like, I messed up, but still it was like, oh, I. But I feel comfortable messing up. This, right. is, this is gonna work. Yeah, and the audience is so excited to be there. It's one of those things where yeah. they're like, they want to laugh. Sure, that's why you're at a comedy show. But at the same time, like I'm sure a lot of those people sitting in that crowd have never done something like that before. So right. it's so surreal to kind of be a part of like a live taping of a show. And it is. Yeah, they, they love just laughing to be a part of it. They clap just to be. It's just a cool time. Yeah, absolutely. It's, like, it's almost like a. It was a spectacle when I first did it because like when I first got there. Um, the very first show, you know, Lorne Michaels was walking around. It felt like SNL. And Bill Hader and Fred Armisen started playing with the crowd themselves oh, okay. in between takes. And, <laughs> and it was just a bunch of people standing around just waiting. It felt like a, it felt like a football game because <laughs> in between takes, we'd all huddle up and punch up lines and yeah. get a break. And it's, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, being able to work with John Mulaney, have you, you know, were you friends with him before? How much did you kind of know him or work with him before the show came along? Uh, I was really lucky to open up for him in 2011 when okay. he was at the DC Improv. Gotcha. And we just didn't, didn't know each other for nothing. We did stand up together and then we just kind of, I don't know, he just was like, yeah, I like you. And it was just like, yeah, I like you too. <laughs> we became friends and then the show happened and I got to audition for it and he remembered me and I got lucky. Yeah. And, uh, that's and it's been good and we've gotten closer ever since and it's been, it's been awesome. That's really cool. And so what was that audition process like? Was it... Um, was there a lot of people auditioning for the motif role? Was yeah, there was a lot of people auditioning. It was weird because I was a, uh, I only had been auditioning for stuff for like three or four months. I didn't really know what I was doing. Right. And I had to get an acting coach. And then all of a sudden, 
I met, got walking to this, and I just read the role, and it just seemed so simple and like, oh, I can do this. Yeah, that's me. I can <laughs> yeah, do this. I can, I can yeah. do this guy. And then I just walked in the and I just came in, just really had a lot of fun, and they started laughing hysterically, and I was like, well, that was just whatever. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. I was like, ah, like everybody laugh. Who cares? Yeah. I've made a lot of people laugh for 11 years. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> And then all of a sudden, these people were like, no, 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 this yeah. is serious. Then they flew me to L.A., and I had to do it in front of, again, in front of yeah. these important-looking people. And uh, <laughs> They were wearing ties. They were stuff. wearing ties and just smelled rich. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> they had yeah. a rich smell to them. Yeah. And so, uh, but then, it was, again, it was like, um, I should have been nervous. But then I met Mulaney for the first time. We read it together. And I don't know, once I heard him talk... I kind of knew exactly what he was doing, and yeah. so I was able to go, oh, that's what you do. Well, I'll do this. Right. And then we just looked at it like, oh, we, we completely connect. Yeah. And I've never had that before. Yeah. Just complete understanding connection. That's great. Them. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Yeah. It's a, new, it's a new experience in my life. Yeah, and so, you know, talking a little bit about kind of, you know, his shtick and kind of what John brings to the table, um, what is it about him, now that you've worked with him, you know, closer now making the show, that what is it about him that's just special or that thing that you – reason that you can pretty much put an entire show almost like on his back like they did with Jerry Seinfeld and things like that he is a brilliant machine like meaning or like he can his process of writing jokes a lot of people sit down they write they ponder he does that too but a lot of it sometimes he'll just be like he'll take one breath like, and then just punch out like better lines for whatever is written down he'll do that a lot like we'll be do, rehearsing rehearsing and then yeah. we'll be still be stop rehearsal, stop rehearsal. See what you just said, change it to dot, dot, dot. And you'd be like, how did you, how were you able to do all that? <laughs> it's just yeah. so. It's almost like directing little parts of scenes to himself, like while he's a part of them. Right? Yeah, but also making everybody around him funnier. Yeah. Like it's just, he's constantly yeah. make, adding a line, adding a thing. He just understands the language of funny in a way that is uh, yeah. inspiring. Right. The way, he lo- when the way he looks at you when he talks, you just go, what? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, it's a commanding thing. He's an awesome dude. Yeah. And uh, obviously with Nassim Pedrad and, and some more just, you know, SNL people, but people that I really, this cast is really assembled in a really unique way. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people who are going to watch this show um, or maybe stumble across it or go, I, you know, I heard that's going to be really good. I want to see this. They can kind of pick people out of like, oh, I saw him in this and, I, and I've seen her do that one thing. Yeah. When you guys all kind of first came together to be a group to do this show, when everything, the cast was finally all put in place, did you kind of have that feeling where you're like, this is a good group of people? Was that, was that feeling right away, or was it... Um, yes and no. Like, yes, in the sense of, for me personally, I was like, I got to make sure I don't fail these people. Right, right. <laughs> you know, like, it was one of those things. It was more yeah. or less like, I don't want I don't want to be in the scene with Martin Short and not bring it the funny. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't want him looking at me like, why don't we get this kid? So, <laughs> like that. And the scene for Drive, I mean, she, she doesn't have an ego about her, but her, her work ethic and, and productivity and the way she executes is, like, so light years. I just sit there sometimes in awe. Like, how did you... Yeah. How did you pull that? God, you're brilliant. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. That's awesome. Um, and being able to, you know, kind of get your name out more and more now with being on this show, what's kind of the next step for you as far as stand-up career goes? You know, you have this awesome thing going with Mulaney, yeah. but now what do we do? I will be touring this country yeah. mighty heavily. Uh, <laughs> every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny of this yeah. country that will have me. Yeah. Uh, special markets included. Hopefully Chicago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got to. Yeah, so I'll be doing around that around the country, and, um, and hopefully I'll be coming out with a special next year. Okay, yeah. cool. And, you know, what's really kind of fun about, I'm sure you know, is being a stand-up comic, you performed probably in your career at so many different random places and little things like that. In the show, which people don't really know yet, you kind of, you know, you perform in some weird places, yeah. like, and a lot of stand-up comics perform on cruise ships and things like that. Do you have, like, a weird place that you remember, like, that sticks out in your head of, like, just, it was an odd place to do a set? Or? Yes. The, um, the FBI Racial Harmony Workshop. In... Of course. <laughs> what town was that? <laughs> I forgot the town. It wasn't Virginia Beach, and it wasn't Richmond. It was... Uh, it was East Coast. Though, it, was, so. uh, it was somewhere in that, like, infinity. It was, like, adjacent to... It was uh, Virginia Beach. I uh, know. Uh, uh, Newport News. One of those towns. Yeah, yeah. Point being, it was the middle of nowhere. And I'm sitting in, and we had to, and I was in this, I think it was a, it was a church that was normally a Chinese Christian church, but uh, they were cleared out. And it was just FBI, <laughs> black and white people who were old and angry. And yeah. then it was me going, let me break it in for 10 minutes. <laughs> And I tried to overcharge him. I was like, yeah, can you do this for us? I was like, I don't want to say no to my country, right. but I will overcharge you. <laughs> and I overcharged him, and they were like, we got the money. Do it. I'm like, oh, uh, man. Yeah. So, One of those things where you put a, you like put a price tag on it, like, oh, they'll never want to do sub- this. Yeah. And they're like, come on in, see it. And you're like, mm-hmm. okay. We're the government. We have a limited amount of money. 